Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I hope uh, you are enjoying this uh, Aqueduct tutorial. So, um, we have done this uh, question controller part where we have set up our router, we have our response ready, everything is ready, but we need to understand what actually is happening. Uh, and I explained in the previous video as well. Now, let's uh, also try to explain again a little bit about it because I left some parts so that it it, it should not become very uh, you know complex for you to understand so here if you see we have an HTTP request as soon as I am writing here suppose questions okay as soon as I press enter what will happen this request will go to this request sync okay this one this portion okay I don't know if you can see the cursor or not but this portion is I'm talking about then this request sync is this class okay this quiz API sync you can see okay so this is the request sync okay we have two 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 uh, images here okay now this request sync is basically the super class of this quiz api sync now if you see then it is passing this to router so he, it will go to this method setup router and it will see where is the route so uh, at the first it, 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 uh, like uh, the first route is slash question so it will go to that and it will ask if uh, that is the appropriate route or not and then it will if path is slash question it will generate this new question in controller which is again making a new instance of this question controller class so why we are doing this we will talk about this okay now this question controller will be this one and it will see that this has the this this request is a get request okay if you don't know about get and post request so basically when you write every and anything on this uh, on uh, the you know this uh, url and uh, you pass the data from the url and you don't provide any body then this is a http get request okay so this is very a uh, simple terms okay so here in the http get you see we have a get question method so as soon as this question controller identifies that this is a get request it will pass that request to this get questions and here it will provide this response dot ok ok is basically which rep represents a 200 response so as you can see in the picture we are passing 200 ok and then it will pass this uh, that uh, response to this http request so passing means that this response is now visible to your screen okay so that is all this stuff i i hope you understood what i wanted to say okay so this is the situation now let's go back to quiz api sync so i said that every time a, uh, the request comes it will generate a new instance of this question controller because uh, what the situation is that in our question controller we have some constant list of questions okay because this this is what we have as a data okay so uh, right now because we are just uh, uh, learning it for the first time so it is fine okay but in a real application this is like uh, we we don't keep any mutable state in requesting or any request controller so this is this is again for three reasons first it's just a bad practice because uh, web server should be stateless okay um, you can read about http so you will get an idea okay and because uh, they are facilitators between a client and a repository of data and uh, again i uh, we at uh, the represent repository means that uh, the database and we will talk about the database in future video but uh, as of now we don't have any database we are just uh, having this constant list of questions so this is a bad practice first of all second thing is that uh, aqueduct applications are actually structured in a way this is intentional that uh, so that they can uh, you know keep these states okay so um so this is this is why HTTP controller is uh, instantiated every time when a new request comes in. Okay, so any state they have is discarded when the request comes, and uh, this is totally uh, like how they work. Okay, so this is this is what is happening. Okay, so um, and uh, this is this is what I should uh, explain. Okay, now what we can do. Uh, we will talk about also isolates how isolates work so that is some kind of like uh, this this will be too much for you to understand as of now if you if you are a beginner so that is why i am skipping that part so now we can see 
like this is one request okay you can ask like uh, what if i only want one question okay like we have a list of question we have three questions as of now okay now what if i want only one question so what we can say here in the route after slash questions we can also say slash i am using this uh, square brackets which means that it is optional okay so if you will uh, uh, make a request on slash question and if you don't pass this one then also it will work otherwise it won't work if i will remove this square brackets okay so here in the square brackets i will say colon index okay so what actually i wanted to uh, state here is that that uh, we have a square brackets here which is indicating that uh, this particular segment is optional okay okay and uh, this colon means that this is a variable name which is index okay simple so we we can now hit two requests on the same route one can be slash questions and second can be slash questions slash index okay so now how we can do this let's go back to our question controller okay and make a new method for the same http get okay here let's just copy this code first of all okay get question we can say get single question let's see okay and here what we will do we will use uh, an another annotation which is http path okay and here we will give the name of that variable which we used so this is index okay now we can have a parameter which is index okay so now this is basically called path binding okay where you binds a route variable from the uh, that particular uh, http request path to this http controller responder okay so we will talk about that also so here we have this now rather than returning all the questions we will check this index okay so we will say if index is greater than not greater than uh, if it is less than zero okay or so this is basically a normal programming i'm not doing anything special here so or we can check if index is greater than or equal to questions dot length okay so what i am saying here that if question uh, if the index is less than zero that means it is invalid or if it is more than the questions length like we have just three question if it is four then it does not make sense because we don't have any question on the four so we can say return new response response dot not found okay this is the beauty of aqueduct that we you already have all of these methods like uh, all of this uh, that that represents 404 202 everything is available to you okay and if that's not the case if the index is uh, like uh, if you have that particular index in your questions library then you can say return new response dot okay and from the question you will fetch that particular question with that particular index okay this is what we will do okay as you can see we have a method get single question where which is a http get method and we are binding the path with this index and then we are checking this if it, this index is not incorrect if it is incorrect then we are uh, giving a response of not found otherwise we are passing this response with that particular question so that's that's it so it is again optional so let's go back here and let's refresh this so this slash question sh should still work okay so let's refresh it and it is still working now let's try to uh, write a number let's say 100 okay so 100 is not available in our question library the constant list of questions we don't have any hundredth question so if we see here it will say 404 not found which is a template which is already defined in the framework okay so we don't have to make this template now if i will write any good question number like one then you can see it is again saying 404 not found we don't have any question with index one <laughs> let's okay what we missed is we have to restart our server so sorry for that and uh, we will try 
again everything okay so let's go back here and let's try questions it is working no it is saying uri parameter is wrong type so we will see what we did wrong okay it is now running let's refresh it okay uri parameter is not correct okay sorry i am using this slash maybe that's the problem yeah that's the problem i was using this slash extra slash that should not be there so that was the problem because uh, we were uh, we are making it this optional part and uh, i will make sure that this should not happen i don't know why they are not able to understand this extra slash which should they should skip that slash but again uh, maybe that is something so now let's try 100 and this is actually not found so maybe why don't why it is not showing the template i don't know but it should now let's try one and you can see the whatsapp so this is the first one the first question which comes and it is whatsapp okay now let's try zero okay and it will say who are you and now let's try two which is what's your name and now let's try 200 which is again not found if you will see here you will uh, get this 400 here why i'm not getting it okay so you can see here this is a 404 okay so we we don't have any screen as of now let's see if we have yeah we don't have any method as well so this is how you will write this particular index kind of stuff so that's it guys from this video i'll see in the next video while writing some tests thank you so much bye bye take care if you enjoyed the video please do like the video and subscribe to the channel